the starting sequence of this kata. Do you do shaman first technique or do slight harmony and then go back to shaman? So this is because it's Kosa Dutch, then it's a what's called Shizen Dutch, a natural stance. So your hips are neither forward nor back. So you shouldn't feel like you're driving them, rotating them forward or rotating them back. It should just be natural. So so yeah, when you drive forward, like like from this point, basically, you're kind of not shaman, but definitely not hamni. That kind of natural, which would be the same position as like jukamai. Yeah, you're not you're not hamni and jukamai, nor are you shaman. You're kind of that shizen position. Well, that is basically the same position. A lot of people kind of open this part. I really want you to keep it closed. Feel like you're squeezing, squeezing into that joint. And then from that joint, then you open. So squeeze, squeeze, and then open stop. The same, squeeze, squeeze, open stop. A lot of people open, then step. No, squeeze, then step. Probably one of the most important aspects of having this kind of flow in your technique is to have a super strong stance. And uh, that's not stiff, don't, don't please don't misunderstand me. I don't mean stiff, but I mean strong. And part of having a strong stance is really being able to have strong inner thigh muscle control. So, so for example, from here, like I, I want to, as I'm stepping forward, stop, I want to be able to kind of squeeze my inner thigh muscles together, and the same with my pecs, and produce a point of a point of kime, which then leads to shito. A lot of people just watching. A lot of people. This, this is not tight. So from here, you're a little bit loose, and then you open. As you start, this kind of opens. No, feel like you're squeezing. You're squeezing your 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 inner thigh muscles together, and then from that compression, then you release for shito. And it produces a much more explosive power. So from here, you've made stop. Okay? Next inner thigh muscle squeeze, chest squeeze. As you make this scammy uke. And what I want you to try to do is get that complete compression. Compression of your stance. Compression of your upper body. Compression of your abdomen. Pulling in. And you hit that tension. That kind of tense part. And then you add to it by bringing that knee up. And you're still kind of creating that tension. It kind of builds and builds and builds, and then you release for the for the kakomi. So, so from here, you're starting slowly, and you're making this squeeze, and then from this squeeze, more than yeah, and then release for shito. So I want you to try to get that kind of complete compression, and then everything together, release for the kakomi. Of course, this manji gabai is a slow movement but like with with all slow movements in in shotokan most of it at least 50 percent of it is fast so so from here almost maybe 70 80 maybe even 90 percent is fast so make sure you start this is still a slow movement but most of it is fast understand Okay, that's one point. Second point, like I know different, different organizations do different things, but for now, just try this. Try blocking Jordan, this Sotuke feeling, and squeezing together. Also, decover, squeeze, and then from this squeeze position, release Gidambarai. A lot of people are big action. And it's, it's kind of a little bit slow and a little bit kind of clumsy. Try to compress, release. Compress, release. So from here, show from this angle. From here, you're compress, release, and then same again for the high shuke. This compress, 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 release. Try to have this sense of knee coming up, but also dropping down. And so, so you're squeezing here. Squeeze to release. A lot of people kind of are, are open, open. No, drop, knee up, squeeze, squeeze, then release infinite. If you see a kind of a baseball picture, like they, they have this sense of to release the ball, yeah? Like in baseball. So like Yamazuki is exactly the same. You want to have this sense of Oh, driving in. 
this way. Don't be stiff. Don't be, don't be kind of like this. Try, try to have this stretch. Stretch, boom, and in feeling. It's a, it becomes a very powerful punch. Again, this, this compression, not open. Here there's no compression. From here, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And the more you squeeze, the more you can release. Then you come 45 degrees. This is the same. Squeeze, squeeze, feeling. Squeeze, 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 release, feeling. So this rebound, in block, feeling. I push my body mass this way. And then this, this foot lands and this foot steps. I push, push, fall. So what I'm doing is I'm using one leg. I'm using one leg to push, fall. Push, fall. A lot of people are doing this. What I want you to do is squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. That's different from push, fall. Push, fall. So most people, most people are push, fall. No. From here, squeeze. Squeeze, drive. And so on the point of block, you are driving in. Whereas you guys are on the point of block, Falling, counting is kind of artificial. But what is really important is within the count is having the feeling of the kata. So it's not just itch, ni, san. You know, there's that sense of, of a hard count and then a soft count and then, and then a, a fast count leading to a slow count. So, you know, like this feeling of, of kind of, you know, itch, ni, san, chi, go. So like one technique leads to the next technique. Sometimes we stop, but sometimes one technique leads to the next technique, and you should be able to, within your count, demonstrate that a little bit.